welcome to Crossiums. In this video, we'll talk about the new tools that were added in the last update, such as the Planify curve, the Flowby curve, the Autoblend curve, and the AutoHatch. We will see some of its practical uses and how to maintain the parametric of our designs. If you like this kind of videos, you can subscribe so we can keep creating 3D design content. Now, let's design. We'll start by creating an outside green rail and modify the outside curve to 2.5 to create an, a circle. Enable the proportional and select the second profile. In this way, we can modify the size of the curve without modifying the inside diameter. Now we create the planify curve. Select the inner rail and options, we can modify the distance of the curve and the center. We will leave it as default and we will add nine divisions that will help us when designing. Confirm and open the drop down to duplicate the planified curve. We'll edit it, but this time we modify the distance by 5 mm. This way we can work better. We confirm and we duplicate the third planified curve that we'll use later, but this time we change the source curve and add the outside rail. We confirm. Now we have our rails on which we are going to create the design. We can hide this last planify curve because we will use later. Now we are going to create a blend curve, starting from the two planify curves that we have generated. We modify the end position to the center at 0.5 and reverse it to the direction we need. Modify the start position to one quarter of the curve, 0.25. Once we have it, we confirm, and with the left button, we repeat the auto blend curve. This time, in the curve 1, we we'll select the planify curve, but in the curve 2, we we'll select the auto blend curve that we have done before. The end position will have to be reversed to get the code direction. Then, confirm. With these two curves, we will create the rest of the ring structure. With the central blend selected, we go to the mirror tool and activate all the switches. Click on position and click on the center of the planify curve. Then confirm. Now it's ready to create a join of the complete mirror. Confirm and we can hide it until we use it. Now we select the two leftover curves. We are going to make a vertical mirror, select position and the center of the planify curve. Then confirm. Now we select all the curves and we are going to make a join, as we did before. Now we have everything in a reduced but parametric form. We open the join and we will restore the three internal commands to have them in the history manager and to be able to edit them easily. Let's show the join that we created before to create the last curve that we need. Once selected, we create a blend curve. Move the start position to 0 0.6 and the end position to 0 0.1 leaving this shape and confirm. As we can see, all this allows us to modify the curve and everything that will adapt together, keeping it parametric. The next step we will do is to create a profile on the main join. Rotate the profile to 270 and modify the height 2.0 and the width 1.8. Then confirm. We'll create another profile that will go on the central blend curve. Rotate to angle 0 and modify the height to 1 and the width to 1.2. Then confirm. We create again a profile, but this time we will use it as a cutter, so it will be very thin and high. Rotate the angle to 0 degrees, add the profile to the center position and modify the size to 0 0.1 and the height to 2.5, more or less, and confirm.
in the toolbar tools, select Auto Sweep, select the join, and the site profile and confirm. Create another auto sweep with the blend curve as the center rail and select the cutter profile. Add caps and lower it to 08. And now we'll repeat the last command, repeat the same curve, and we will select the other profile. We select caps and 08. Confirm. Go to create the flow by curve that is in the toolbar tools. We select the planify curve as source curve and the ring rail as target where the objects will flow. We select the deformable object, the auto sweep, then confirm. As you can see, it appears upside down. Depending on the design, we may be interested in this way, but in this case, we are interested in designing from the central part. So we select the outside ring rail and with the gumball enable, we are going to press shift key and rotate the green curve to 180 degrees and we would have it in the desired position. Now we create a mirror of the flowback curve and we will have a ring. It's time to decorate it so we are going to hide the auto sweep of the planify and we are going to create an auto extrude of the join that we did in the beginning. We select the desired distance, in this case 0.5 we confirm and we will create a boolean split of the auto extrude and the thin auto sweep. This splits extrusion to have the desired parametric surface. We are going to hide the planify curves and show the planify curve that we made in the beginning and we have not used it that is linked to the outside ring rail. Now we'll create a flow by curve, select the planify curve and as target, select the outside ring rail. As the formable object, we select the auto extrude, which is the split boolean. Then confirm. As I'm going to show you in this example, we can see that I can raise and lower it, keeping its shape and size, and we can edit as we wish. So we are going to modify the outside ring rail to 0 0.5. Then confirm. Let's continue. So create a flow by curve, select the planifier source, and the outside ring rail as target. Select the auto sweep as the formable. Confirm and create a mirror of the upper surface. Switch on mirror diagonal and confirm. Show the, we can show the auto sweep and hide the planify curves if we are not going to use it. Now we are going to select the surface and we are going to use the auto hat. We can select between different patterns but we are going to select 43. We will disable the solid borders, leaving only the solid inner part, and we are going to modify it leaving the thickness at 0.8. You can try different scales and choose the one you want. You can always modify it later. We are going to do the same with the other surface, but with the pattern 17. We can modify the offset to position it in a way that fits better. Now we just need to hide the surface we used for the auto hat and modify the type of materials that we want. Thanks for watching. If you found it useful, don't forget to subscribe. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and other social networks. See you in the next chapter.